and invited to give the invocation at the Connecticut State Senate. Now, this is kind of remarkable because generally the invocations, as you know, are an invocations to God, thank him for whatever. As you'll see, the invocations are short. So I cover a lot in about two minutes, and I'm going to play that for you very shortly. The one thing you'll notice on the video, uh, first of all, in the picture below, I don't know if you see that, there's a woman at the podium. She is the lieutenant governor, in other words, the vice governor of the state. Her name is Susan Bikowitz. And you'll see that she's wearing a black mark on her forehead. That's because this happened to be Ash Wednesday. So a number of the legislators had the Ash symbol on their forehead. Uh, Connecticut, among other things, is a very Catholic state, uh, partly because of immigrant populations from uh, countries like Italy and, uh, and uh, uh, many others, uh, certainly some Irish. Um, um, the other thing you should uh, mention, perhaps, is that some, some of my invocation relates to specific issues. In other words, you'll notice some words in there encouraging people to respect other people's beliefs and to safeguard the freedoms for everyone. Will the Senate please come to order, members and guests, if you would please rise and direct your attention to our very distinguished guest chaplain, Kiri S. Shaw, who will lead us in prayer. Uh, senators and staff, I want to thank you all for your dedication to service for the people of Connecticut. May we regard all people as if they were family members that we care about. May we have a mind that reasons, a tongue for truth, an eye for beauty, a heart that, that loves, and empathy that serves and understands. May we encourage learning, may we safeguard freedom, may we seek peace, teach love, care for the earth, and use power wisely. May we use our minds to comprehend the world around us and to apply the fruits of this knowledge to better our lives and the lives of others. May we be true to our conscience. Yet may we also allow others to be true to theirs. And in doing so, may we prevent harm and suffering. May we respect cultural differences and reap the benefits of diversity. May we have neither malice nor envy, but a true kindness and a noble common sense. And at the close of each day, may we come together and find contentment and peace. So be it. Amen. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Uh, just uh, for a moment of personal privilege, please. Uh, please proceed, sir. Uh, thank you, Madam President. I just wanted to uh, thank uh, Carrie Shaw uh, from the Humanists and Free Thinkers of Fairfield County for coming up and uh, leading us today in our opening uh, prayer remarks. Uh, Carrie and many of the folks who are in the uh, gallery today, um, uh, I see them regularly at Silver Star Diner at some of their meetings and uh, appreciate the fact that they came up and uh, want to be part of our process and uh, they do testify on some bills from time to time as well. Very engaged group of people and I appreciate them being here. Uh, if the Senate can actually give a warm welcome to our visitors in the gallery uh, from, from that group, I would appreciate it. Thank you. 